What up? Hey. <laughs> what are you, Eminem? Yeah, let me uh, do some freestyle rapping on Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're supporting him with your orange hoodie. Yeah, speaking is it, of... Is this your rebuttal? Yeah, this is my rebuttal to Eminem. <laughs> I will not even attempt any kind of funny rap or any kind of rap whatsoever. You got the white down. I, I have the white down. We're about the same age, actually. Eminem. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I think that's where the similarities end. I think he has a lot of money and a lot of fans. I have mm -hmm. neither fans nor money. Well, currently, uh, we have no live viewers. <laughs> that's okay. So, that's Welcome to the Worst of the Best podcast. Today, we are doing late night talk show hosts, or as the Emmys refer to it as, Variety Talk Series. Variety Talk Series, yeah. Who <laughs> says, hey, what's your favorite Variety Talk Series uh, host? My show. favorite, my favorite variety talk show host. Well, I'll tell you right now, who is currently your favorite talk show host that is on the air? Uh, this is where we differ. Yeah, um, Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel, is your favorite? Yeah, I watch him the most. Yeah, my favorite again doesn't mean I love Kimmel, mm -hmm. but I laugh. It's here's the thing, I laugh at Conan more. Like I laugh at his jokes, his style. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean Kimmel's not talented and not good. Um, I just I love the self depreciating humor that Conan has. I, I relate to it and I like it. And I've been watching him for years. You actually introduced me to Kimmel. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I had a warm up to it. I'm a I'm a Letterman uh, fan. So yes, Ruben and I agree completely that the best talk show host, other than the king of all time, uh, Carson. Chevy Chase. <laughs> uh, yeah, Carson was king. Uh, but out of his students, the best was David Letterman. I love David. What what I like about uh, Carson was better than Letterman as an entertainer. Letterman is better as an interviewer. Yes, great interviewer. And that's what I like kind of the most is the interviewing this, ability to. Is this my water? Is this your? Is this my water? Is this your water? <laughs> yeah. Do we have enough time? Is this? Sorry, is there, do we have? Do we have enough time for this segment? Is this? Should we? Are we cut? Yeah. Cut? Are we cutting to show? Are we cutting? Mm -hmm. Is this my water? Is this water? Right. This is water. Right. It's like, is this water? Oh, we should. We should have a sidekick each. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that'd be a good episode. All the late night talk show sidekicks. Who's the worst? Nobody's going to watch that episode. No. <laughs> we already don't have anyone watching our shows, Ruben. We probably shouldn't pick topics about... Okay, well, let's, let's do it quickly then. Who's okay. the worst uh, late-night sidekick? Who's the, okay? Who's that guy with... Uh, uh, I think it's... Is it Corgan? Or James who, Corden? What's his name? The, okay, the, we're, we're going to get... The guy of, with the afro? Who, no, no. Who's, who's the guy with... Who's that older gentleman with the glasses that looks like he's a cheap knockoff of Stephen Colbert, but he's a sidekick? <sighs> oh, uh, Jamie, Jamie Oliver? Is that who has? No, the, but the he's English not this guy. But he is a talk show host. But there's a guy that stands to the side. Okay, I I don't watch. Okay. Well, this, Maybe it's Fallon. Doesn't Fallon have a guy that he talks to sometimes on the side? Yeah, yeah, Fallon does. Older guy with glasses. Yes, that's the guy. Yeah. Boy, H Higgins, Higgins. 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 Okay, so we won't say any more. I don't want to say any more because we're, we're going all over the place here. So let's, let's go with the six. Let's rain it in, Ryan. So rain it in. We are now – the Emmys has chosen the best variety talk shows out there. We are going to throw in our picks, which is Conan and – who is it nominated? Conan and who? Fallon. Fallon were nominated. Well, we know – They were not nominated. So Conan for me will never be the worst list on any talk show host. That goes without saying. I love Conan O'Brien. I love him. See him on TBS, on CTV in Canada. I love his humor. My sons who are 19 and 17, even the younger generation, they, they were unsure of him at first because they were raised on Kimmel type thing. But I showed him Conan, and they too love Conan O'Brien. So I just – uh, yeah, highlights of Conan O'Brien are he goes to like four countries. He does full, uh, full shows there. He does the Comic Con, which he does very good at that. But anyway, so here are the here is the Emmy list, and we're going to throw in for good measure Fallon because he is high in the ratings. So this is the critics' review. He is high in the ratings. He's high in the ratings. So it's, he's he's currently doing about two, number two or three. Okay, so why don't we just go through the list? And this uh, is just full frontal with Samantha B. Full frontal with Samantha B. And well, let's talk about each one as we go through it. This sure. is in no particular order. We're just reading. Uh, her content, I think, is overall strong. Sometimes I feel like she swears for shock value. Oh, she's opposed to. Well, she's full. I mean, she's full frontal. 
I, she, just when, when someone's trying very hard, it it shows. Okay. Which shows like, you know, since we're not trying very hard. <laughs> no, you and I don't try very hard. And, and, and it shows. And it shows. And it shows. So uh, that, that's Conan O'Brien type humor. Right there. Uh, Kimmel. I love Jimmy Kimmel. Obviously, he is the... He's the nicest guy. He... Yeah, I love him. Uh, he's a great guy. I, I love him. I think part of what I had... I don't watch him as much as I used to. Time. It's all it is time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see a lot of his... I have him on Facebook, so I see his, like, highlight clips and... Things like that. So I'm still watching it, but just it might not be through conventional means on the TV anymore. Um, but I definitely – I watched him for the very beginning of his show because I used to watch him on The Man Show with Adam Carolla. So when I heard that he got a late-night show at ABC oh, – yeah, Adam Carolla. I, I met him in my last podcast. That's awesome. That's your Jimmy Kimmel connection. Yeah. Cool. You're one degree short of meeting Jimmy. You met his best friend. Yeah. Actually, uh, on another episode of The Ruben Show, believe it or not, that's, that's still a thing. Uh, yeah, the Ruben Show. His, we his, haven't plugged that in a while. His daughter is uh, doing a segment. Oh, cool. Or has she already done the segment, yeah. On the Ruben Show. Yeah. Cool. Check that out on the Ruben Show. It's on YouTube. <laughs> Just Google the it's Ruben terrible. Show. It's terrible. It's <laughs> terrible. Anyways. Um, if, okay. If, are yeah, so Corolla and, his, and Kimmel's daughter are both. There's connections there. Cool. One, de- one degree of separation. Okay, moving forward, we have uh, John Oliver. We're sort of, we have lots of time. We're gonna, we're gonna, let's talk more about Kimmel. I just want to say, oh, my goodness, please, Kimmel, yes. uh, he's in hot water right now. He seems to be getting a lot of flack from like Fox News and all it's these. Crazy. It's crazy. What is going on here? Tell me. Why don't you tell me a little bit? What, has it got to do with the medical thing with the son? And then, yeah, I guess and he then he said that. Wouldn't it be nice if uh, children didn't have to die because they couldn't uh, afford medical care? That we valued human life and more than money. Are you recording over there too? Uh, no, that's okay. You can keep recording, or this will work. This will not be pulled from Facebook. Because there's no more right, story. Right. Um, so that was pretty radical for him to say such a thing. Um, and then also with he the, uh, something to do with the Harvey Weinstein there issues. Well, we, we can get to that in a moment. And then it was the the oh. Vegas shooting. Okay. And um, he's from Vegas, right? He's, he's from, from Vegas, Vegas. Yeah. and so it hit him in his hometown of like, well, why do people need AK forty sevens? Why buying thirty three guns within a year, not raise an alarm bell? <laughs> oh, you got everything okay over there? Yeah, I was making this go. Um, so that was a... Uh, okay, so he's a little bit of hot water. So he, just, he just brought up his opinions, and so people say, I hate you because of that. Oh, yeah, and then he said he doesn't like Trump. So then there was hatred there. So if you don't agree with them... You don't like them. Then you don't like, like yeah, them. And, that, and that's that's fair. That's democracy. I don't agree with everything he no. says. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. I don't like, get my panties in a No, I... I uh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, why? He seems to be. I've never seen him such hot water before. He seems to be kind of the uh, punching boy for the, yeah, for the conservatives. conservatives. Conservatives, yeah. yeah so, um, and then for the Harvey Weinstein thing, um, he found out on oh his, I think his Wednesday show, whatever day it came out. So he does four shows a week. Right, they record two in and one then day. They record two in one day, and so then there's no shows. jokes. There's no jokes on the Harvey Weinstein because during the recording the. Big breakout news yeah. hadn't come so, out, so people so, thought he was ignoring. So Trump Jr. thought um, he was he was ignoring. You got everything okay over there, Ruby? Yeah, wanna... it's just a phone call. No. I missed the phone call. Must be nice. It might be Harvey Weinstein's lawyers calling us or Jimmy's. <laughs> so and then um, yeah, so people thought he was whatever. Yeah, uh, it's just very weird that somebody says something you don't like. Fine, but, but you know like, you've hate, made hate, you hate. know you've made a big, but you know you've made a big with what you're saying. Now becomes like like what's the opinion of Jimmy? Yeah, it makes news. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's where he's in hot water. Okay. Um, he's a nice individual. I think so. I don't think he's a jerk. I never. I, heard... think, I never. And they showed some uh, video of him on the Man Show. Uh huh. Where playing what's in my pants with yeah. a. So so he had a a segment. Well, yeah, a segment with a paid. Um, person. Oh, who and they were just people on the street randomly. Was, no, no, he didn't uh, go after and target people. Oh, and um, yeah, he tried to use his power to. Yes, they were all adults. Yeah, and they were paid, and they were consenting adults and who they... agreed to the. Thing. I know. Yeah, it's a gimmick. So yeah, that, that's I like that's... how they try to throw the same light of Harvey Weinstein. I know, I know, I know. The creepiness just... of this goof. Let well, me just say, what, this guy is a creep. When your base 
isn't that bright. Then that's what you do. When I say when I say that bright, it doesn't mean that they're dumb. It just means they haven't looked into it. Right. Does that make sense? Like we're defending Jimmy Kimmel right now. I don't know. Leave him alone. Free Kimmel. Free Kimmel. Free Kimmel. Free the right. Kimmel. Um, <laughs> free free the Kimmel. Come on, that was funny. John Oliver. Is the next one. John Oliver on HBO. Uh, last week with tonight. Last week tonight with John Oliver. Was he on? Was he on the Joel, John Colbert show? He was. Yeah. Okay. Moving forward. Mo- yeah. Real time with Bill Maher. Bill Maher. He's kind of like the. He's an old old guard. Um, I've watched. He's a what? Part of the old guard. Oh wow. Yeah, he's been around for a while. He did the political incorrectness yeah. for a while there. I think it was NBC. Uh, then it became too politically incorrect, and he moved to HBO. And um, he's he's one of those characters for me because I've seen many of his episodes, and where there's times where I really like how he sounds and how he thinks, and there's times where I don't like how he sounds and how he thinks. But that's I guess part of being human. Yeah. Uh, but I, I find his guests and his roundtables engaging. So it's it's not really. Um, and so I'm not a big fan necessarily of his stand up or his opening schlick uh, schlick stick stick stick. At the beginning, mm-hmm. um, I don't want. But when I do watch him, I do like his guests, his roundtable discussions, and he's I say brave enough, but he will bring people on who oppose him. Yeah, and he's not afraid to have the discussion. He's had his own crowd boo him, you know. So he really, he's. I think in many ways, I, I you know, I let, I, I respect his bravery in the ring. He puts himself in the ring, states his opinion, and it's not that uninformed. He's actually pretty informed. And, uh, yeah, he goes toe-to-toe with some pretty smart-thinking people. So, sure. he, as yeah. far as an interviewer goes, yeah, he's pretty good at that. And uh, not a lot of, like, somebody maybe like Fallon might not be able to really go toe-to-toe with anyone who can think. Well, Fallon did say recently that he's not interested in politics, just pop culture. Fair enough. Okay. He's got a pop culture show. You know what I mean? I, I like to call a spade a spade of, yeah, sure, of what no, it is. Yeah, sure. He's, he's, yeah. That's fine. Absolutely. All right, so we got James uh, Corden. James Corden. See, I couldn't even remember. I knew it was. He's the carpool karaoke uh, gentleman from from England. Okay, now we're, I'm, I'm going to start uh, revealing a little bit of my pick, but it might not be my pick. I've got a couple in my head right now. So for the worst, um, James Corden, I'm not bought on at all. I f- bless his heart for being lucky. Oh yeah, yeah. Let he- me just say, this guy, I feel like he just fell off the like. British truck into American television, and all of a sudden we're supposed to like this guy. And it's like, who are who are you? And he's on late night. Oh, well, Craig Ferguson kind of paved the way. Sure, there. I think they're literally like, who's another guy with an accent that we can bring over? Yeah, Ferguson was Scottish or Irish? Um, I believe Scottish. Yeah, who's got a, who has another accent that's not American that's funny and adorable and likable? Yeah, I. Uh... Craig Ferguson, by the way, was one of the best interviewers. Yeah, he was he, good. Good at his job, too. Uh, much like Seth Meyers, he did not need oh. um, a card. Mm-hmm. He can just do it off the top of his head. Dave no no cue cards. No, they, they don't have cue cards. No, but that was the thing. But a lot of people didn't like to come on the show because he would stray from the uh, – oh, That's true. He would stray from the card. That's true. They always say, oh, that wasn't on the – Nope. Well, one of the things I love about Letterman. Yeah. So, Corden, let me just say, Corden, I'm going to give you my grief right now about him. Might not be my pick for the worst. I don't. I feel like his whole show is designed to be viral. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Well, nobody's watching TV. I understand. Uh, maybe. Okay, uh, that's just old Kermundry Ryan missing the old days of just people coming in, plugging their show, there's comedy bits, and you move on to the next one. Not this rotating viral. Mm-hmm. You know, but he does like the Tom Hanks movies in two minutes, and they're all running through. It's like... And then the the carpool karaoke. The carpool karaoke. This is the biggest. The carpool karaoke drives at the wall because we're supposed to believe. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to believe that James Corden, Mm -hmm. name Corden, knows every Britney Spears song off by heart. Uh He's a thirty-something-year-old guy, and he's singing away the Britney Spears songs. It's just digging it, you know. Like they could just throw any Britney Spears song in. He's kind of a decent singer, so he can kind of pull away. Throwing these songs out loud, like you're not a Britney Spears fan. Here's okay. a little trivia for you: right. Carpool Karaoke saved somebody's life okay. when the Red Hot Chili Peppers were doing it. Um, they went out to the the car uh, for a break or whatever because it was like a four hour shoot. Oh, I think I heard about this. Yeah, go on. <laughs> and um, this woman comes over house with her baby choking, 
Oh, yeah. And Anthony Kiedis knew what to do and saved the baby's life until the paramedics came. That's good that they didn't just give it away. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Like under the bridge or something. I knew, I thought, I knew that was even the next thing said. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> my hands, I'm, I'm yeah, done. Okay. All right. So, anyways, that's my Jimmy Corden. I know we're on the last five minutes. Okay. Sure. So, and then we have. Well, that was for the Emmys picks. These are the Emmys picks. Well, we've got Stephen Colbert who replaced Letterman. Oh yeah, Colbert. Yeah. So he did the what, what was his show that he did all the time? The big one that he. I think it's called Stephen Colbert Show. <laughs> But he played a character. I in know. Stephen yeah, Clare. that's what's so confusing. Is he played now? He played a conservative character, right? He overplayed the conservative. It's the caricature of a conservative. Mm-hmm. Kind of be, by being that character, he could say things that, yeah, you know, that Stephen Colbert couldn't say, but this character could be. I'll tell you what I don't like about Colbert. Yeah, please do. Uh, Bill Maher, John Oliver. First of all, John Oliver and Samantha B. Um, first of all. Uh, <laughs> I can't repeat that. Well, no, that's not bad. Uh, well, our brother. Well, Jay, you have to reference the, the baby was the baby was choking. But was, we just had. Oh, a, I see. Okay. One of our many uh, listeners on Facebook here, Jason, Jason Hur, Jason, Hur, Jason, Hur, Jason Hur, our, our brother, our loyal viewer and listener, Jason. Uh, We're doing this show for you. The, the, the baby was choking. So, and Jason typed in, "How thick was the mother's milk?" In reference to one of their breakthrough albums called Mother's Milk. Which were, yeah, which was the song Under the, no, Under the Bridge and no. uh, the, Mother's Milk, yeah, had the, um, I'm drawing a blank. It came out in 87, though. I remember that. It did. Moving forward. Hey, that's a good one, Jason. I liked it. I almost yeah. spit out my water there. I'm glad that you didn't. Yes. All right. So I don't like, I like politics being part of a joke because that's part of life. Um, but when it's like so heavy handed all the time, yeah, it's exhausting. It is exhausting. So I'm a big Seth Meyers fan. Uh, he's, he's very, 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 very smart. Yeah. Um, but and sometimes lastly, it just swears. It's like, I'll get it. He, like, is he, he swear to show Seth Meyers? You said he no, swears. Uh, I, I didn't know. I, I think I, I mumbled my words there. No, okay. Yeah. I guess he does swear. There's a lot of swearing, but it will get bleeped out. Oh, okay. Maybe I, not a lot. I thought maybe it was cable or something. No. Um, but I know who Seth Meyer is from Saturday Night Live. We did the weekend updates. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we now not on the Emmy list, and right, rightfully so. Uh, but a popular talk show host is uh, Jimmy Fallon. And speaking of Saturday Night Live, Jimmy Fallon started his career in Saturday mm-hmm. Night Live. Made his big break. Um, Jimmy Fallon. He's uh, loves to loves to do skits. Um, I'll tell you what him and James Corden have in, in common. Their name? They love laughing before a joke's even said. Because they know it's coming. So, they, they... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it's adorable to break. They call it breaking, or is that they call it like uh, when you when you break? Yeah, the, you break break kind of character, character or whatever. Or, like he's in his like he, one of the famous skits that Jimmy Fallon does is with Justin Timberlake. They play these two guys in a camp. And they're, just, they're going to sleep, and they're playing kids, wearing braces. Justin Timberlake's wearing braces. <laughs> and, you know, the, they're making noise and laughing. They're singing songs or whatever. But Jimmy's always breaking, laughing under the blanket. He's just – it's just he's so funny that he, he makes himself laugh all the time. He's just so funny. He's, like – I'm pushing 40. Oh. Uh, you're post-40. I'm, I'm pulling 40. <laughs> Uh, Fallon's a little bit older than us, mm-hmm. and he's giggling. I have, like, as a man, I just have a really hard time relating to like just the giggling all the time. And you're so awesome. I love you so much. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just, oh, it's just like the same way James Corden. Yeah, James Corden is actually a man. Well, and do you really love every celebrity that much? Oh my gosh! I did, well, I guess maybe he does. Maybe, maybe he does. Maybe, maybe he does. loves everyone. Good for him. If if he is who he says he is, good for him. But I wouldn't want to hang out with him. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe I, I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I did enjoy his episodes with um, Seinfeld, uh, okay. comedians in car getting uh, coffee. It was, okay. two, it was a two parter. I did enjoy yeah, it. You know, and I liked him on Saturday Night Live. I had no problems with him on Saturday Night Live. I liked him in the movies. Yeah. Oddly enough, I was one of the few people. I liked Fever him Pitch in, was a fun movie. I love Fever Pitch. So again, this is not slighting him as a person, character. Whatever that might be, it's just when it comes to talk show hosts, 
That's my pick for worst. I like, I like a little cranky. Don't take yourself seriously. It's my pick for worst, by the way. I just dropped. I just you dropped. dropped I just dropped the, the big announcement. He is out of all the talk show hosts. He's the worst of the best. He's a high, yeah, high viewed, high viral video guy. I, I, I think okay. if I had to choose between him and Corden to watch one night, I probably might choose Corden just to see. Have something. you ever watched Samantha B? I haven't, so I can't. That so for the record, I, I have, and so therefore it's Samantha B. Okay, fair enough. Maybe if I watched Samantha B, I'd. Oh, Chelsea Handler did get mentioned. I'd rather watch Chelsea than Sandra B, and I've watched Chelsea. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the. Hey, I'd love to have a career that that great. Absolutely, Jimmy. Good, good on you, Fallon. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. You're multi, multi millionaire. You've got a lot of celebrity fans. So you have more than one viewer on your show. So we're the worst. We're, we're the we're the worst. We're truly the worst. You're, yes, but you're just the worst of the best talk show hosts. So. All right, we got another episode oh, coming up. Remember, yes, Ryan. Uh, in front of every silver lining, go on. There's a cloud. There is. Good point.